Hello YouTube. I'm glad to see you all here. Hopefully we'll have some people here. I know there's one and they've got four likes up there already. So that means there's probably a few people going to be coming in. I've actually started to stream a little bit early. So I'm attempting to connect some little help bots which I'll explain at some point. And the moderators will be able to use them. Hopefully when I get them figured out. Mostly to, to help other people, like when they want to know my the email address for Kim Cast R, the Patreon link, the website link. You can just type one word and it'll pop up. That'll make things a little bit, bit easier for everybody, including me. That way they don't have to go looking down below in the description, which all that stuff's down there. But they don't have to look for it. They can just type in the word that relates to it. Okay, so we've got the little bots working now. So we can uh, just continue waiting for people to show up. And we technically got about four minutes to show up. I was going to do a video today, but I kind of got waylaid into a lot of other things. I really wanted to. I needed to, but we're, with work where we are, we kind of got tied up with things. But I did say I was going to be doing one on mixing colors. But since um, no one's here yet, which maybe they are, I'm going to, I was going to roughly go over some of that, but I think I'll just wait until some people come in. Hopefully we, uh, Brock will show up and that might be who's coming in now. <clears throat> well, they've already left, whoever it was. Maybe they're just still having trouble getting in. But anyway, I wanted to talk uh, I will be doing some talking about uh, primary colors, complementary colors, and things like that. I, mean, I was going to do that, a lot of that in the video, but if we get some people in here, we might just jump into that for a little bit. I mean, it won't take up a lot of time, but we will take up some time. And I know some people probably learned a lot of this in school. Hey, Ken, how you doing? I was just putting a little bit of content out there before people joined up. So when people actually watch the video, they won't see nothing there. How are you doing today? Been real busy for me. I've uh, I had intended to do a video today on color mixing, but I've just been so busy here at work because we live where we work that I hadn't had a chance to do that. <clears throat> but uh, I'm hoping that uh, Brock comes by because I know she needs to have a little bit of information on painting too. She started one. I'm anxious to see it. I'm, I'm not sure how far she's got into it, but. She started to do one of my paintings. I'm not sure which one it was now, but I think it was the, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen all my paintings yet, the the uh, online ones I've put up so far, but it's when it's mostly blue and white, a winter scene with blue mountains and even the trees are blue and white from the snow and whatever, but I think she's going to try that one. But uh, we'll see. I'm hoping to... Uh, get a copy of it so I can show it to everybody. I'll probably use a different streaming thing besides uh, this one here. I'll probably use uh, StreamYard because you can actually put a picture up or another video if you want to at the same time and everybody can see it. <clears throat> I'm just having some coffee while I'm waiting for everybody to show up. Hopefully uh, Brad will show up tonight. 
And uh, I'm pretty sure a recon will most likely pop in. And Minnie, Minnie was here first last night, which really surprised me. He's doing really good. Um, I'm not sure if you knew. I thought you were here one day when he was here, and he was just said, you know, the. I think the gambling thing really threw him off, and uh, I know he he said that uh, he had lost like somewhere between four and six thousand dollars, probably doing that stuff offline. That uh, I don't remember the name of that gambling site. You might remember it, but. Uh, he was playing that a bit offline too, and that's kind of a crooked setup, basically. It definitely wasn't made for you to make any money. But uh, and I think you just wanted to get out of that, and I'm not sure what else, except for the, he mentioned that YouTube has just changed a lot with the algorithms, and then they're doing free advertising. Uh, on people's accounts that weren't even monetized yet, and other things. YouTube just seemed to be different. And uh, I don't know, I guess he decided it wasn't, it wasn't working out real well for him. <clears throat> I think he was fine until he brought the, the gambling part in. And that's probably, that just discouraged him. I was hoping he would just change his mind and uh, maybe start up again, but just not even bring up the gambling thing. Just do the vlog like it was. And, and I think everybody enjoyed the vlog the way it was without the gambling anyway. I mean, that was just a spur of the moment thing, I think. Everybody just kind of got that idea or whatever and was suggested it. And he decided to just try it. He probably would have been better off in Vegas. He made more money in Vegas anyway when he went over there, as you probably know. Because he was still way ahead on that. I didn't care about the gambling myself either way. That's for sure. But I guess some people did like it. I think JT liked it and uh, a few others did. But I really didn't care about it. But I didn't mind watching them do it. I mean, I thought it was, you know, a little bit fun watching them play some of the games. I didn't like all of the games, but there was some of them games I kind of liked. And, of course, you had to use Bitcoin, so that made it a little bit confusing. I, I should have bought that Bitcoin a long, long time ago when I could have got it for, like, 40 or $50. I made a fortune. <clears throat> yeah, someone came in. Actually, I think there was two that was trying to come in. They haven't made it yet, but someone's trying to come in. But they're still trying. They're still coming in, I think. I'm sure I'm still lagging some, but I don't see anybody else yet, just you and I so far. But it says there's three people here, so I'm sure there is somebody that's coming in. It's just not showing up yet because of the lag. I'm kind of wondering about Matt. I know his mother's been pretty ill. He's taking care of her full time. I need to shoot him a message again and see how she's doing. Because he's been getting the notifications. He just hasn't been able to come in because of taking care of her. Now whoever that third person was stopped. Might, might have been um, 58C Brock. Because she, um, sometimes when she, she goes to pick up her dog, 
being in California, the time zone's way back from here, from, from me. And uh, sometimes she's logged in through her cell phone while she's driving, basically. So she loses connection. So it might have been her. But amazingly, she stays connected pretty well. But it's hard for her to type anyway when she's driving. She has to wait till she stops the red light or something. I don't want her to type while she's driving anyway. I really don't. Too many people have gotten killed texting. I, it really irritates me to see people texting when they're driving. I just, I'm one of the people I just, I just can't stand it. I've heard of too many people getting killed or fatally injured, just and badly injured from somebody texting. I had to get on my own daughter because I see her do it once in a while. I jumped all over her for it. She's got kids, and I'm like, you know, you don't need to be doing that. I know I don't want to risk my family on somebody texting while they're driving. To me, I think it's, I think it's, in a lot of ways, it's even worse than drinking and driving in some ways, but I don't know which one's worse. What do you think? Think drinking and driving is worse than uh, texting? I don't know. Probably the same. It's just as dangerous, I think. Yeah, I think so, too, because their eyes are right off the road. And I don't know about you, but I've seen people, when they're texting, I mean, their head's down for a very long period of time, and they're in, like, major traffic. I mean, they're relying on their peripheral vision to warn them that they're getting too close or whatever. never works out for them, because they eventually they're going to hit somebody. And the sad part is a lot of times you can't prove it, that they're texting. Because, of course, the first thing they do is turn that phone off. Of course, there are, I have heard where the police have actually taken somebody's phone and there's a way they can do it. They can call whoever the company is and they can find out what time they were texting. And if it was somewhere in that area when that accident happened, then they got them. It's definitely illegal in Florida to text and drive. You can be on your cell phone, um, but that's about it. You can be talking, but you can't text. But most of the newer cars, I mean, mine's a 2016 Camry. It Bluetooths to my radio, and I don't even have to touch my phone. I can just push a button on my steering wheel answer the phone and talk while I'm driving with no distraction at all. And when I want to hang up, I just push another button and it hangs it up. Which I think that's the greatest inventions they ever come up with for cars is something like that. So people don't have to text. You can talk to somebody. I mean, for God's sakes, you know, it's better to talk to somebody anyway than, than that. Yeah, I'm in... Um, North Central Florida, near the University of Florida, which is Gainesville, where the football team, the Gators, are.
I'm beginning to think YouTube here is going nuts because it shows four people, then three people, then two, then one. Now it's two again. Even when it showed one, I checked, and you, was, you and I were still here. This uh, YouTube's still not right. Could be the lag doing it, I don't know. Yeah, how can you tell? How can you tell when someone's coming in? When you, when you thought somebody was coming in, did you see something different? I know four people hit the like button already, but they haven't been in here. They must have just came by earlier and hit the like button. must be taking a long time for you to hear my audio. Yeah, and Brad was watching some TV show at night. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't remember what it was, but uh, he said he has to wait till that show is over. Right. But on mine, it, it fluctuates to three and four, then back to two. Then it went down to one, but we were both still here, so it's kind of flaky. Inokery. Uh, that might be the TV show. Is that a TV show, Inokery? That's what, it begins with A, I think. That's what Brad watches every night. And uh, he doesn't join until after that's over. Which should be really about well, maybe in about three or four minutes, it should be over. I think I, I think I heard of whatever it was that he watched, but I don't think I've ever watched it. I think I've seen some previews of it. That's about it. Hmm. I think that Anakari is the one with the motorcycles or something. That might be what it was with motorcycles.
I remember. If he ever gets on here, we can we can ask him again. But hmm. Well, I'm not sure what the show is. Um, I gotta ask him. I could probably text him and ask him next time. It didn't sound like anything I really wanted to watch, but No, no. I wish I was monetized. That's that's why I've been trying to do more live chats because I need the hours. I need like fifteen hundred hours just to get monetized fairly soon. But I haven't been getting enough. It's hard to get enough people in here to. I need to get about twenty or thirty people in here to help get it up there where it needs to be. I think I'm around twenty five hundred right now, but you're gonna have four thousand. So that takes a lot of hours. My biggest problem is people watching the videos all the way through. They're not watching them all the way through. So that hurts a lot. And of course, you got people that just drop in. They just watch it for a couple minutes and then they're gone. So I've asked people what they want to see, but nobody's really commenting on what they want to see. So that makes it a little bit difficult trying to guess what they want to see. But I don't want to put out just what I want to put out. I want to put out the content that people want to see. I mean, I think that's very important. If they don't want to see it, there's no point in doing it. But I'm not getting much of a response on it. It's a YouTube is a real tough really tough thing to do uh, to get monetized and stay up there and and get all that all this all the subscribers and all that stuff it's there's a lot more to it than people think there is it's a lot more difficult <laughs> of course if it was easy Everybody will be doing it. I think the the ratio of people that succeed, I think only like 90 or 95% actually succeed in getting a really decent channel, a monetized channel, and, and it stays going the way it should. I mean, it's, it's really a job. You it's There's way more to it than people think which I'm finding out because I think, well, I'll just stick a video up and blah, blah, blah. But there's more to it because you've got to edit the video. you got to have a, the, the entrance of the video, the ending of it. You've got to uh, edit anything out of it that you don't want in it. And sometimes you've got to add text. With me, I have to add, I try to add the colors I'm using for painting. 
and let it scroll up the screen slowly. You got to do all those settings and everything. So there's more to it. And to do one video of one painting, which a lot of my paintings are a lot longer because I try to show everything. I don't try to do the real fast ones that they buzz right through. I don't help anybody. So I try to give them the full instruction on the painting, and it may take four parts. Well, each part's probably going to be 30 minutes long. You know, then you got to watch four parts. And uh, unless people are really serious about painting, it, it makes it tough for them to watch it. Unless they just enjoy watching the painting. And some people do. Like Bob Ross. Bob Ross on TV or William Alexander or Buck Paulson or any of them. They just, people enjoyed watching him paint. A lot of the people actually didn't paint. And, but in fact, his his were on TV were half an hour long. But don't forget, Bob Ross actually painted three paintings of the same one, the same thing. He did one before the show. He did one as uh, another one. I don't have my own gallery, no. Now I have a place online, but I do put my paintings in a gallery. Most most artists don't have their own gallery. They rely on other galleries, whether it's a city gallery or county or or uh, just a business gallery itself. Um, but no, I do have paintings in a gallery. But just because you have paintings in a gallery doesn't mean you're selling a lot of them because you don't. It's just kind of a hit and miss once in a while. And the COVID thing has really made it tough to sell paintings because the galleries are not allowing a lot of people in at a time. Just, you know, a couple of people at a time. That's about it. Well, if you came with a group of people, they might let that whole group in. I probably sell more paintings on my own than in a gallery any day. Just word of mouth, talking to people online, things like that, locally. Hey, 58C Brock, glad you made it. That's fine. I know you headed home. We, I, I was telling Ken you were probably driving, so you wouldn't be able to text my, much less you have to be stopped at a red light or something. So we were expecting that. No problem. Let me know when you get home, though. Then we can... I was going to discuss a couple of things with uh, painting a little bit for you, for your benefit. But... Uh, no, Ken, I probably... I've sold way more paintings online and... Uh, just word of mouth, people I know, friends of people that I know, whatever. And of course, I have a studio out back, so once in a while, people will come by there that I know and see me, and they'll see a painting and they want to buy it, or a relative will be with them and they may want one. And you know, it's just you definitely uh, starving artist thing is very true thing. It's a very true thing. Very few artists can actually make a living painting. Very, very few. Probably about 5% of the artists out there, which there's a lot of them now, a lot. It's amazing how many people out there paint. I mean, tens of thousands of them out there, and then some, hundreds of thousands of artists. So the competition is really stiff now. Really, really stiff. And that's probably because of all the opportunity that they have to people for people to learn. Um, like I've told people before, it's not about talent. It's about the desire to want to paint, building up your confidence, and having enough patience to do that says anybody can paint. I've taught people, like I told 58C Brock, I've, I've taught people in their 80s 
that have never touched a paintbrush in their life. And they've done great paintings. <clears throat> Sometimes, if you mean a print, yes, I do. I do make prints. Yes. Do I do, I do the same painting over and over again? Um, there's been a couple that I have done over again um, because it was, it was just a popular painting. I did that the grist mill that you have. That's up on my videos here, the grist mill. I've probably done that one the most, probably seven or eight times. Just, people just love that painting. Hi, Jessica. Welcome to the channel. How are you? Are you an artist? Uh, Jessica, are you you wanting to learn how to paint? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're just waiting for some people to join. Uh, Ken's here and uh, 58 Seed Brock. Oh, Recon's here too. Hey, Recon, how you doing? So do you paint, Jessica, or are you, just, are you interested in painting? <clears throat> ah, okay. Everyone's welcome, that's for sure. How are you doing tonight, Recon? Hi, Kev. How are you? Greetings. Oh, phone's ringing. Well, I paint landscapes, I paint portraits. Um, if you subscribe to my channel there, you can see a lot of the tutorial. I have a lot of videos there. Um, I do the wet on wet, but I also do traditional painting. I do stuff that's a lot harder to do, but the, I've been working on a lot of beginner stuff right now. But I also do knife paintings. I actually took lessons from um, Michael James Smith, which he's an excellent painter quite well known in England, and also uh, Leonard Abmoff, which he passed away recently, but he taught me how to do knife painting. Oh, you're from England? Well, you should know um, uh, Michael James Smith then, and you should also know um, his father, David. In fact, they have a, their own gallery there. Yeah, they're very well known. I've got the deepest respect for Michael James Smith. He's definitely an excellent painter. And so is his father, David, for that matter. Yes, I sign my paintings. Sure. Yeah, I sure do. Every, all of my paintings are signed. Nobody ever gets a painting from me if it's not signed. Like some of the ones, like I was telling Brock, I'm going to be taking. Uh, yes, I do sell them. If you see it on my uh, website, which I'll post it, I sell them there too. And you can also get prints from my paintings there. 
you click on that website there and you can uh, buy them right there. I also have some in a local gallery here too. I think a comment they said was deleted. I'm not sure why. No, he's not deleted from the chat. I guess he got, uh, must have said something inappropriate. Recon, why was he hidden from chat? Huh, that's strange. Oh, I just said he's from England. I don't know what's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you should be able to type now. Try it now, Kev. I just did it. I'm not sure. Maybe you couldn't do it. I could, though. Yeah, I just unhit him. <laughs> there you go. He can talk now. He can talk now. Ah, I see. Yeah. Well, the only thing I did with games is many, many years ago in Quake 2, I used to do some of the Quake 2 maps. And uh, one of my closest friends, if he's a game developer, may have heard of Merrick. Merrick's maps in Quake. He did Quake 2 and Quake 3 maps. He did over 200 of them. Um, he's one of my closer friends. I think I did about five or six maps back then. In fact, uh, Merrick's real name is uh, Sean Schaefer. I know ID Software offered him a position at one time. He refused it. He wanted to, uh, they wanted to take a copyright on all his maps, and he said no. Which I don't blame him. He did it for the good of the community. But uh, Merrick's a close friend of mine. There's a guy named Jester. He was in the with the mappers too. I know most of the mappers back then. In fact, I know Raven, who actually did the mod for Real Wars, TMG. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, uh, Recon. Don't worry. I, it might be this bot. I have a chat bot in here. And if you do a cuss word, it usually is supposed to warn you or something, but it's something new that I put in here. But that might have been a result of it. But I don't think they're in this one, though. This one here I just have set up for just for warnings, like a, a cuss warning and stuff like that, abuse. Of using somebody, my website, hello, goodbye, stuff like that. Nothing, nothing drastic. But anyway, as far as the mapping goes, you know, um, actually, Merrick Sean Schaefer actually is an author now. He's written about eight or nine books, last I knew. Hi, OJ. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome. Sure, you're welcome to share it. I'm, I'm happy to have new people come in. That's for sure. 
we're mostly chatting tonight, but um, I do talk to people about painting in here that want to learn how to paint also, but we still chat about other things too. <clears throat> Which games do you uh, work on? Hello, like Tranny. We didn't mute him. I don't. We don't know what happened or who, how it got, how he got muted. I unmuted him, so he should have been able to talk. And hello, OJ. No one did. I, I set up a chat bot. That might have done it. I'm not sure, but uh, nobody, nobody muted. Nobody did that intentionally. Hi, ASD. How you doing? And I unmuted him, so he left too soon. It shared on TikTok, huh? I've never even been on TikTok. You under the weather, ASD? Sorry to hear that. I've already said that he wasn't muted intentionally. I'm not sure why you insist that we did because we did. No one, no one muted him intentionally. And I unmuted him immediately. So he left too soon. He, he could have talked. So he can come back if he wants to. He wasn't banned or anything like that. I'm not even sure how the name of this place got shared on TikTok even, to tell you the truth. Maybe somebody that's here shared it without me knowing it. I don't know. Because I've never been on TikTok ever. Well, I didn't mute him because he said he was from England. I actually said we were talking about Michael James Smith from England. I never muted him. No one muted him. I unmuted him. I don't know how he got muted. I have nothing against England. And I've already told you he's welcome to come back if he wants to. I didn't tell him to leave. He left on his own. I unmuted him. I'm not going to say it again. Okay, yeah, I'm beginning to get a little suspicious of that. Well, we'll we'll untroll him pretty soon if we have to. From the United States. Yeah, if they don't want to behave, then then we can uh, definitely get rid of them fast enough. Well, 
Well, if you're not interested in painting, you shouldn't be here anyway. It's that simple. This this channel is all about painting. Well, we're kind of locked down, but not fully now. Hi, Minnie. How are you? Glad to see you. Oh, there's a few of me from TikTok, I think. Yeah, I'm reading their names already. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Hello, Jeff Goldblum. Well, if they're gonna be butt, if they're gonna be butt heads, we can we can just go ahead and get rid of them. No problem. I have no problem with it. I'm not sure what he's saying in there, but. Yeah, go ahead. Get rid of get rid of them. They can go away. Right now, they're just giving me free time. <laughs> they don't realize it, but they're actually helping my channel. They don't even know it, but they are. They're being annoying, but they are helping. But enough is enough. Hey, Minnie, how are you doing? Oh, we got some trolls in here, that's all. Like I said, Ken, I mean, they think they're really hurting me, but they're actually not. They're actually helping me because it adds to my hours of uh, viewing time. Yeah, I did notice that. I was, I've been expecting trolls for a while. Uh, they come and they go, whatever. Like I said, I mean, we just get rid of them as they come in, whatever. Yeah, we got quite a few of them that came in. I think about five of them. Five or six, something like that. Yeah. What's that, uh, ASD? That's fine, OJ. That's fine. What do you know? What do you want to know about making trees? 
um, ASD. <laughs> no, a palm tree is a lot different. I did do a palm tree in that tree demo. Did you watch that? Watch the tree demo on um, they did online here. It's up there now still. Did you hear me, ASD? Did you watch that video I posted on, on doing trees? Yeah, you trolls, I got plenty of moderators in here. You really don't have a chance. You really don't. These guys will squatch you like bugs. Well, I'm glad, Ken. I'm, I'm hoping that you're watching all of mine. I need people to watch them, that's for sure. Okay. Well, watch that one on painting trees. I did one on painting different trees, uh, pine trees and palm trees and oak trees and stuff like that. There's a bunch of different trees that I did on one video. It's in the how-to playlist. So you can look at that how-to playlist and you'll see a sample of how to do the trees, including a palm tree. Well, you don't really have to. I mean, a tree is not a straight line anyway. It really isn't. Um, trees bend. Even even uh, palm trees bend. They have a bend to them. Sometimes several bends back and forth. They're not always straight up and down. I mean, you see them on TV at some of the resorts that are pretty straight, but a lot of them are not. Ah, I see. Is that where the trolls are coming from? <laughs> yeah. Why I ban Kev? I don't know. Probably the same reason I'll probably ban you for being a troll. Just like that. I actually, I actually moved him at the same time you hit his message there, uh, Recon. <laughs> well, he's got a little bit of excitement tonight. We got tons of trolls. 
I guess we're we're good enough to warrant some trolls, huh? Yeah, it's pretty funny. They're, they're just being stupid. If they want to be dumb, that's their problem. Well, that's nice of you. Now there's one less here. I just removed him, removed Jessica too, so no problem. Yeah, the thumbs down don't help me at all, but if that's what they want to do, whatever. Nothing I can do about it, I guess. Yeah. I guess when they come in, I'll just have to start kicking them right off. It's pretty bad. You get 16 thumbs down and 9 thumbs up. There's another one gone. They're just bound, they're just determined to ruin a good time. Yeah, that's fine. I'm reporting them all. They'll get banned. Jessica got back in here after I removed her. Huh. I guess I have to report her too. Yeah, they don't they don't quit, do they? Hmm. Well, it's the first time I've been harassed by a crap load of chat bots. Spam bots, whatever you want to call them. It's 
Somebody named TikTok. That was real clever. Good to meet you too, OJ. You're welcome back anytime. So, Brock, are you home yet? Yeah, what an exciting night, huh? Yeah, I'm sure they can. No, it's never been like this before. It's the first time it's ever happened here. First time. Yeah, me too. I'm glad they're looking for me too, looking after me. I'm reporting every one of them to YouTube, no problem. Oh, excuse me. Your opinion means nothing to me at all. Nothing. Yeah, they don't stop. I could probably make another channel, but they'd probably still find it. I can make another stream. I'm not sure if they'd find that one or not. It'd be a different link, probably. I could do that. If y'all want me to, I can make another stream. I'll leave it up to you moderators. If you want me to make another stream, I will. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Like I said, they think they're actually hurting me, but they're not because they're giving me more uh, view time. <clears throat> Instead of hurting me, they're actually helping me. Those, those, those piddly little thumbs down and doing don't mean grid diddly crap. I've got thousands of thumbs ups. So, and they're the very first ones down. So, oh, well. Yeah, that helps my hours. Yeah, all these, all these guys come in here is helping my views. No doubt. No doubt. They're not hurting me at all. And I just remove them, and then I report them. Eventually, YouTube will ban them, and that'll be the end of it.
I only see one here right at the moment. And he's fixing to be kicked off here too. You must have a long drive home, um, Brock, because we've been here for quite a while while you were driving. You must have a long drive. You live that far from where you bring the dog? I don't know where Minnie went. She was here. I'm not sure where she went. Huh? How far is it? Oh, you're still driving, probably. I shouldn't even be asking you questions while you're driving. <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't blame you. Well, luckily, I can have a dog here, so my dog is like a child. He thinks he's human. In fact, he has a really big anxiety disorder when my wife and I are gone. He just goes nuts. We can be gone for 15 minutes and come back, and you swear to God that we were gone for days. He just goes absolutely nuts when we get back. Right, Milo? Where you at? Where you at there, buddy? He usually sits by my chair when I'm talking here. He has to be near my wife or myself or for both in sight, he'll get right between the two of us. That's a bad anxiety disorder. He has to try to stay right between the both of us. And in fact, at night, he sleeps in our bedroom. And he'll be on her side for a while, then he'll come over to my side, back and forth. He's uh, mostly Pomeranian and a little bit of and Chihuahua. But he looks just he's looks more Pomeranian than anything else. Except he's a fat Pomeranian. He eats a lot. He just he definitely gets fed well. OJ, did you subscribe to the uh, channel? Or are you going to watch the videos or are you just coming just to chat? Oh, great. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Be sure to comment on the videos if you like them. Give them a thumbs up, whatnot. It all helps. If you're interested in painting, definitely ask questions. <coughs> Excuse me. My nose itches 
the pollen's bad down in Florida today. My allergies are kicking in a little bit. <clears throat> You're welcome to bring friends with you too, as long as they're not bots. We're all we're all for having other people here. We like new people just fine. No problem, Recon. No problem. I understand. Well, it's winter here in Flo I'm in Florida, but um, it's actually been pretty warm for the last few days. I think it's been up to about 80. Yeah, no thanks. I used to live way up north in the White Mountains, and I have my fill of snow. Yeah, Ken, mine's mostly Pomeranian. He's got a little bit of Chihuahua in him, too. I think I already said that, but I'm not sure if you heard it or not. He's mostly white. Long. He's got long hair. Very, very friendly. I'm not sure where he is. He's usually here with me. I'd, I'd put the camera on him, but I don't see him here. Milo, come here, buddy. Milo. His name's Milo. I call him Mr. Milo sometimes, but he is getting older. I think he's about seven, eight years old. I'd love to show him if he'd show up in here. I'm not sure where he is. He might be outside with my wife. Let me look. I don't know. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come up here with daddy. Come up here. Come up here with daddy. Come up here with daddy. I'm not sure if I can get him here. There he is. There's Mr. Milo. There's my buddy. There he is. Say hi. Can you say hi there, Milo? Huh? Can you say hi? He's a good fella, huh? Are you a good boy? <laughs> there he is. Okay, Recon, no problem. Yeah, he's he's like a little kid there, Brock. OJ, I'll tell you what, he's spoiled rotten. Spoiled rotten. He is well taken care of. That dog don't know what a flea is. I guarantee you, he don't know what a flea is. Once in a while, I'll bring him to the dog place, and they'll trim him up real good and beautify him and whatever. But he absolutely hates bass. He won't bite you or nothing, but he hates. And he knows words. He knows. Dogs know 250 words. I, I read this, and it's true. If I say bath, he's gone. He's hiding. He does not like bass. <laughs> but he, he, he remembers words pretty well. If I say I'm going to check the mail, he's got to be right there with me. He's got to go. He'll fly out that door. 
We have a walkway that goes down by the pool. He's he beats me there every time. I did have to stop him from um, because of his long hair. We don't allow him on the on our laps anymore. He used to when he was a puppy, but not anymore because he loses so much hair. It's constantly vacuuming up after him and. We don't allow them on the couch. But on the, our deck out here, we have a couch and two chairs. And he's allowed on those. And he knows it. He knows he not, he's no worse. He's allowed to go. No problem. And he will sit on the, lay on the couch or the chairs or whatever. And he pretty much claims them. I don't care. If I have company, he's like, you know, that's my couch. And you're not sitting there. <laughs> But, and my grandkids, they all, my, my, I got 15 grandkids. They all love that dog to death. His only problem is barking. If somebody pulls in the driveway or comes up or whatever, constantly barks until they pet him. If they, if they come up to him and not afraid of them and they pet him, he'll shut up. But otherwise, it's just barking. Well, I was going to discuss the uh, the color mixing class, but I think we'll. I'll just go ahead and just do the video. I was going to go over a few things about it beforehand, but there's no point in it now because I think I'm fixing to get done here myself too. It's getting pretty later. It's uh, been quite a while now. Let's see what time is it. Yeah, it's been a lot, an hour and forty five minutes. So. I'll probably be shutting it down myself pretty soon. So I'll talk to you uh, later, Brock. No problem. I was going to put out a video today, but like I told everybody else, I just didn't get time to. And uh, I'm kind of a bit stressed out anyway because my son's actually back in the hospital again. The 37-year-old is having open heart surgery again. So tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be doing anything tomorrow anyway until after that till we find out what went with how that went. And this is his second one. He's only 37 years old. Um, the first place they come to find out they really didn't use the correct valve and now he's got infections from it and everything else. So it's even worse than it was before. So we're pretty concerned about that. So probably won't be doing a whole lot tomorrow, but worrying. Yeah, good night, Ken. Have a good night. Thanks. You too, OJ. Take care. It's good to meet you. And welcome to uh, Kim Cast Art. Hopefully we'll see you some more. Welcome back, ASD. Good night, Recon. That you got back just in time. That we're just, we're just getting ready to shut it down, uh, ASD. Minnie, are you still here? I think she's gone. I'm not sure, but I think she's gone. Yeah, she's already gone. No problem. No problem. You don't have to apologize for that. Anyway, y'all have a good night. I'm going to get out of here because I got some things I want to do tonight before I go to bed, so... Thank you all for coming again. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you the next time. I doubt we'll have one tomorrow because of my son being in the hospital, having open heart surgery. So um, we'll see how it goes. If it goes okay, then maybe the maybe the next day we'll have one. Okay, y'all have a good night. Take it easy. And God bless.